of this or that. And I said earlier, um, beach house or boat? And I personally, hands down, would do boat. A posh boat, a really nice yacht boat, uh, but a boat. And so it seems fitting, we'll end the show on this because um, a boat will take us to the marina and to the yacht club and that whole nautical pier thing. And so we end on a brand new, I'm gonna invite our guest, Nikki, from a brand name Weatherproof. Spring is upon us soon. Okay. It's gonna be raining. The tulips will be blooming. It'll happen. Um, there will be the puddles and the whole thing. <laughs> and of course, if I get my boat someday, Me I will too. definitely need an anorak. Absolutely. Um, Nikki brings us one from Weatherproof, and here <laughs> are your choices. Sure. Full zip front with the snaps. With the snaps. Cute little tunneled um, elastic drawstring on the inside so you can cinch mm -hmm. it or leave it baggy. Right. And then here we go. This is our navy. Mm -hmm. You're darling in the fuchsia. Uh, thank you. You'll notice they all have a little bit of that stripe liner on the back yoke Very and the Hamptons, hood. right? This is the sandstone. Mm -hmm. Love her. Okay. And Morgan is, you are so oh, cute in this so daffodil. Good. I love the daffodil. Isn't that oh. like, that one is so London to me. It is. And this one is so Hampton. These are just so Hampton. They're yeah. so Long Beach Island. They, they just have that nautical vibe that uh -huh, make you feel uh -huh. so good about yourself. But they keep you warm, but not too hot, right? It's like that perfect lightweight mm -hmm. water resistance that we love, right? It's great material. And then you can also unsnap the cuff and roll it up too. And then you have that oh curved head, which I love. Look at the drawstring yes, on part. the inside. Mm -hmm. It literally looks Ooh. like I don't know sailboat terminology, but like something from like a sailboat. I mean, it's just, and so obviously what you can do is cinch it in yep. or not to give you a little fitted, kind of semi-fitted or not. Don't you okay, love that? Can you explain what it's made out of? Absolutely. And then a lot of people are seeing a hood and they probably will want to know if it comes off. Oh, it is attached. Okay, so you have that adorable hood, which we love, right? We love the hood, protect the hair. So <laughs> it's water resistant, everything from weatherproof, which by the way has been around 75 years, Everything is made with technologically advanced, incredible fabrications. So you're going to have that polyester, but it's a nice woven material. It's going to have that really nice contrast piping. Of course, you've got that lining on the interior that we looked at, which is super nautical and really, really fabulous and fashion forward. But everything from Weatherproof is kind of like the throwback classic meets updated style. And that, and did you know, I was looking this up, I was like, wait, what's the original terminology of anorak? What does it actually mean? It comes from Greenland. Okay, so it's Greenlandian terminology. <laughs> anorak with a Q-U-E at the end. And it means wind, because it was originally made to protect you against the wind. It's, I mean, Don't it is there. adorable. Sandstone <laughs> is totally my favorite, oh. along with daffodil. You're in fuchsia, fuchsia. there's also a navy. Um, uh, obviously because of the external kind of slickness to it, but mm -hmm. not waxy, not raincoat, it. it's not like that, <laughs> right. but because there's a slickness to it, yeah. like you can imagine that the water just like beads right off. And it's machine washable, which we love. Yep. You could just throw it in the wash and then let it air dry. And I do love the cinching aspect because I have so many raincoats that make me just feel boxy and bulky. I like that this gives you shape, but if you also want the bagginess, you want a little extra room, you can have it. So you have the choices, which choices are always very nice in life, Sean. It's very... This is what it's giving me. Okay, Kennebunkport. Oh, Maine. Yes. Lobster roll, oh, Kennebunkport. Yes. Yep, the whole thing Lobster. right there. Yes. Um, and daffodil on uh, Morgan. Mm -hmm. When you see the hood popping out the back with the stripe details. Isn't that great, Will? And by the way, did we mention who Weatherproof is? Weatherproof, I, as, as I said, they've okay, been around it. since 1948, but I didn't tell you that they're from New York. They're a New York based family owned company. Aww. So, you know, they always do everything with a lot of heart and a lot of love. And of course, longevity speaks to why they're so good at what they do, right? And I like the fact that you can go with this or you can go with that. Okay, I was going to go with this. I was going to say, do you want to play our final round? Let's do it, yeah. I was using my cheat sheets all show, <laughs> which I've left over here. Okay, and let's see if I have any good ones left. I love the functional love pockets on this too, right? They were asking me back, they were Wait, do those pockets actually work? Yeah, no, they're real pockets. Deep real pockets, pockets, too. pockets. Deep yeah. pockets. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna we're gonna have okay. you help us with two finals. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, you ready? Love it. Number one, in mm -hmm. keeping with the anorak. Yes. Sailboat or motorboat. Oh. <gasps> sailboat Ooh. or motorboat. I'm going with motorboat because I get nauseous if I rock too much, and on a motorboat you can pick up that speed. Okay. You get the wind. Okay, fine. Yes. 
Um, and then, okay, the smell of summer, oh. sunscreen, or fresh cut grass. <gasps> oh, that's a tough one. It's tough. It's that's tough. a tough one. See, because it depends what time of year you ask me this question. Mm. Right now, the smell of grass would be amazing because it would mean spring is coming. Okay. But overall, in general, I do prefer the sunscreen vacation summer smell. Okay. Reminds me of the beach. Okay. We're just going to keep going. Why <laughs> yeah. not? We've got the time. Let's do it. Lobster or mm. crab? Oh, lobster. Oh, okay. All day, Great. every day. Great. Crab. Great. Crab all day. <laughs> like, the, um, king like king crab, crab or snow crab. King crab, I do love. What are yeah. those ones in Maryland that you hit with the hammer? Oh, what do um, they call that? Uh, soft shell crab. Soft shell crabs. Oh, a those lot are good for crab. I like crawfish the best. Crawfish. That's I don't a big think Texas I've ever had thing. Crawfish. It is. I'm That's from a big Texas. Texas. <laughs> and Louisiana. Awesome. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah. I love shellfish. Yes. It's good. I love Some seafood. Shellfish. Oh, seafood is my game. I love it. Um. Okay, girl. Yes. Lighthouse or pier? Lighthouse oh. or pier? Pier, because I can be outside and get the fresh okay. air. Okay, okay, I How like all of How this. Um, I'm gonna say pier, because lighthouses feel like a little creepy. Like yeah. maybe they're haunted, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen um, a lot of those photos from those sipping <laughs> sip paints. Everybody does oh. a lighthouse. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Nikki. Thanks, Sean. <laughs> guys, this come with okay. me. Um, I hope you guys love them. All right, girls, what did you think? Did we like this or that? I did. It was so I liked fun. That. Did we get yeah. the I'm picking pier. <laughs> You're picking pier? Yeah. Lighthouse or pier? Pier for me. Pier. Lighthouse. Yeah. Lighthouse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. All right. It is pretty up in a lighthouse, though.